I'm Jeff, and I'm a bookaholic. Today we're going to talk about Sleepyhead, The Neuroscience of a Good Night's Rest by Henry Nichols. Nichols is a British science reporter who has narcolepsy. Um, the book overall is a extremely thoroughly researched look at the science of sleeping and sleeping disorders. Um, don't come into this book expecting a few general tips on, hey, how can I sleep better? You're going to be disappointed if that's the reason you're coming to this book. Um, instead, this book is a deep, hardcore look at the science of exactly how the brain sleeps and why it sleeps and why it needs to sleep and the various disorders that can arise. Um, obviously, it uses um, Nichols' own narcolepsy as kind of the guiding narrative throughout the book, but it also touches on most other sleep disorders that I've ever heard of. Um, it touches on sleep apnea. It touches on um, phase disorders, which was highly interesting to me, considering that I typically fall asleep around 8 p.m. and wake up around 2 a.m., which is basically exactly what one of those phase disorders in particular was seeming to describe. Um, so the book was actually a little bit of a wake-up call to me personally. Hey, I might want to try to get this looked into. Um, it brought up some interesting um, facts, specifically regarding how some people with some of these disorders actually got them because of damage from a particular um, vaccine from the swine flu epidemic back in 2010. Um, the story goes roughly that there were half a dozen or so different manufacturers of these vaccines and people around the world started noticing, wait a second, several of the kids that got the vaccine from this particular manufacturer all of a sudden are developing these sleeping disorders within a couple of weeks. Um, so that was highly interesting. Um, the rest of the book, just absolutely fascinating about the science of sleep and the, like all the way down to the chromosomal level of, hey, it's this particular chromosome that they're fairly sure has something to do with this and it produces this particular protein and this is how it interacts. Um, if you again, can't say, can't stress it enough. If you're looking for a self-help, oh, these are some tips to how you can sleep better. There's some of that in there, but it's all couched in the highly technical science, highly technical yet approachable science background of it. As in hey, you might not want to expose yourself to this type of light at this time of day because of these scientific reasons and spends pages upon pages on explaining in detail the scientific reasoning there. Um, same deal with caffeine and nicotine and alcohol. The same basic stuff most people are aware of. Maybe I need to change my habits on these particular issues if I want to sleep better. You get some of that you get the, this is the science of why this is. So, um, very awesome book. Um, thank you to NetGalley for allowing me to read it as an ARC. Um, looking forward to the rest of the U.S. being able to read this next week. Apparently it's already been published in Britain a few months ago. So with that, I will talk to y'all later.